my shredheads welcome back to the channel on today's live we're finally going to be unboxing the mod bikes easy along with the mod bikes easy sidecar before we get started on this video if you guys do want to support the channel there is a link down below to get your own mod bikes easy with sidecar use code shreddy get a hundred dollars off your order if mod bikes isn't for you check out all those other links down below there might be a bike you like so uh i'm here with dd she's behind the camera so everybody Say hi to Dee Dee and Dee say hi to everybody. Hey guys. Grab some water. Oh. Any, anybody in the comments yet? Everyone feel free to join the live chat. Definitely. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is unbox and assemble the bike first. And I'm probably, I'm gonna assemble this on the review video, but we'll unbox it and check it out and see if I could fit in it. and. Uh, for the review, we're gonna see if D can fit in it, and I'm gonna to try to get a dog I could throw in there. <laughs> or not throw in there, I could set them in there very nicely and gently. <laughs> so let me get this out of the way. We'll get the Mod Bikes Easy unboxing started. All right, we have a few people in the chat. We have Bubba Shitty, Matthew Bubba, McKinney, what's up, Matt? I Scoot Connecticut. I Scoot. Iso Beer, what's up, dude? What's going on? I'm just gonna start unboxing. Guys, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, we got a little little group ride coming up uh, this Sunday, kind of unplanned for fun. I think we're gonna do like 40 to 60 miles. Um, got a video coming out Saturday morning. I'm working on a group ride video from last week. And what else we got, DD? We got, we got more stuff coming up here soon. More videos, more videos, more fun. We're gonna shoot the review for this tomorrow. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. I'm super excited for this. And I might possibly be going to Texas soon. Yes, sir. What's going on in Texas, Dee Dee? Electrify Expo. I don't have a razor, so I'm using this. There you go. Ah. We have a Shredhead member in the chat, Yair Sosa. What's so up, Yair? What is up? And uh, big shout out to all the Shredhead members. If you guys wanna become a Shredhead member, there's a link down below. Uh, it's, what is it? YouTube.com forward slash Shredding Escape forward slash join. Uh, you get videos sometimes two to three days early. Uh, you get your little Shredhead logo next to your name and your name is highlighted in green. And sometimes I do like members only videos, which I might have to start doing soon since they're outlawing uh, putting your wheel up into the sky. <laughs> All right, we're going to open up this. I don't know if you can point down. Um, so we got your charger, pedal, front light, rear light, quick release. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get started. And um, you guys should always read the instruction manuals. I always skip past it because who wants to sit there and watch me do this for, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. So always read the instruction manuals, guys. I get yelled at for that all the time. And my guess is a three amp charger, two amp charger. Let's see. Comes with a two amp charger, right here. Boom. So make sure when you get the when you get that sucker out, get it get it plugged in, get it charged up fully. Don't go for a ride with it. Um, how they have it charged? Make sure you completely charge it. So how many of you guys have heard of mod bikes before? Comment in the chat if you've heard of mod bikes before or if you haven't. They've been at a few re uh, what Electrify Expos. I saw them down in Austin last year, and uh, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be there this year since they're from Austin, Texas. So if you guys are in the Austin, Texas area, make sure you guys go check out Mod Bikes. What, what is your um, what's your discount code? Uh, use code Shreddy for 100 bucks off. Oh, that's a cool light. I thought it was going to be a straight white light, but it has like a like a little yellowish tint to it. That's pretty cool looking. That's gonna look dope, dude. I'm, that's sick. Uh, probably for the fender. I keep like all this stuff up here so I don't lose it. Yes, thank you for the tools. Let's see what we got. Nice, very nice. Okay. So we got a little like a multi-tool guy here with all types of stuff going on at that. Got a wrench. Very nice. I actually needed a wrench, so thank you, my bikes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I always need tools or I'm like, my, my tool game is, is so weak. And little touch up paint in case any scratches happen. That's good Oh, to that's have. a good idea. Unless you want to do your, your nails in, in the same color as my bike. You guys see what color that paint is? What color do you guys think the bike's going to be? Oh, could you see that? Uh -oh. <laughs> we also have Ismael Ramos Santos in the chat. He What's said, going on? What's up, Tino brother? Any chance on getting your hands on the new upcoming Happy Run Tank G10C? I haven't heard of that. I'll uh, check it out, or if you... Uh, if you can and have the time, send me a link. I'd like to check it out. I Scoot said he's guessing the bike is pink. <laughs> I oh. wish I Scoot. There's like a little oil on there just so you guys know when you pull it out. It's a little oily like residue on there. All right. Get that here. Get that here. Because we still got to strip this bike down. Okay. Sorry, I'm like zoning out. Was there any questions? <laughs> Dude, it's like covered. I don't even, I can't even see the color just yet. So cool. Yeah. Good packing job. It's got a blankie on it. We got some three inch tires. Okay, so everything's still strapped together. I got to get in there and uh, get the tire out, unhook it. How's everybody's week going? Anybody have any uh, rides coming up? Any group rides? You coming to our, my group ride this uh, Sunday? Well, it's not my group ride. It's all of our group rides. Whoever's there is a group ride. Check out that, that rim color. It's pretty sick. I like yes, that. I love that. It's like a matte green. That's really cool. It does look like a World War II, like military, like army color. Like moto, moto style. Can you guys hear D better this week than last week? I think I found out the problem was uh, the... The microphone wasn't charged. Iso Beer said, where are you at? We here. We we inside, <laughs> not outside. <laughs> we inside. We inside. Okay. We're in Delaware. Where are you guys located? Where are you from? Everybody always says we outside, so that's why I said that we inside. <laughs> That's probably an easier <laughs> way to open it. Blue News said yes, she's upstairs this week. Nice. Hey, mod bikes might be in the chat here soon if they're not. But mod bikes, if you guys are in the chat, feel free to join the conversation. If there's any questions that I can't answer, um, maybe you guys can help me out. Oh, he said for the ride, they're wondering where we're located. <laughs> oh, and Lewis, it's going to be in Lewis Beach off of Route 1. At a, off, uh, if you're interested, send me a message. Send me a Lewis message. Beach, Delaware, the Delaware beaches. Dude, that's a kind of that's a pretty cool tire. You said they're that. in Arizona. Yeah, nice. It's shiny. Mm -hmm. I love did the they, green color. Did they put armor on this sucker before they sent <laughs> it out? <laughs> All right. Oh, nice packaging. Look at that. Listen to it. <laughs> Neighbors probably heard that one. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down. Hold on, let me, can I pull this out first? Yeah, let me do that. That way it's not stuck. There we go. All right, so normally you'd want to pull this bike out with a friend helping you out. I always do this by myself. So I like laying it down and then just kind of pulling it out of the box straight out. And, and sometimes I give myself a hard time and I get those boxes where you can just slide them off. And uh, yeah, I always mess that up. So, there we go. Don't knock that over. All right, so we got the bike out. You guys want to keep that back here, or do you want to see dead shred? All right. I wonder if I should stand it up and then undress it. We don't know what it looks like yet. We don't know what it looks like. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Are we on the live comments, DD? Yeah, the, um, I just had to switch to the computer really quick because all the comments are going together on the phone. Oh, so really? I opened, yeah, it, I just it's, opened it on the computer. Yeah, it's definitely easier on a computer. It's like, must be a little glitch today. 
Everyone's comments are going together. All right, so. Am I doing this wrong, guys? I'm like a kid on Christmas Day trying to rip this off of here. Nice. Look at that bike. Yeah, I'm doing oh. it wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Hold on, what's going on? Hold that, hold that. Okay. Getting sweaty with shreddy already, guys. Oh. I can't wait to pull out that sidecar to see what this thing looks like. Um, we'll probably do like a time. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Ah, yeah. Then we can look at it. You guys just want to look at it? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Wow, the color looks awesome. I love how the green's like wow. in the tires too. The rims. Yeah, it's awesome. That is really cool. I love how it's like, it's matte. like matte. Yeah, that looks really awesome. Very army like. Yes. Definitely my style. Definitely. You guys, it looks even better in person. And bigger. <laughs> Longer. All right. Gotta make sure we don't lose any of these underneath the couch. Probably have a couple already under there. Matt, the mechanic said, what bike are you bringing to the ride on Sunday? Uh, you know what bike I'm bringing. Um, let's see. Ismail uh, Ramos said, Shreddy, it looks like the Ride 1 Up Rev 1 and Hayda Stripper 1 are head-to-head -head because they look alike. Which one has a better performance overall? Out of both of them? Probably the Ride 1 Up since it's a 52 volt. Oh, do you mean your, oh, Ride 1 Up or your Day Trooper 1? Yeah, probably autocorrect. I wonder if I should lift this up and slide it down. Which one has a better performance overall? But DD. The so day help, is so. short. <laughs> We're just ripping it off. It's for shorter people. So depending on your height. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's crazy. That's like all delayed. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, check out the saddle. Nice kind of like matte brown look to it. Feels really smooth. Very soft. Very nice heavy duty rear rack. Let's go get a closer look. Boink. What do you guys think? Should I do the do it with the fenders or keep the fenders off? Sometimes I like fenders off. It looks like I don't know. I think it looks. Well, isn't the fender sometimes. already on the back? Uh the front <laughs> fender. The front fender. But I could always take the rear fender off too. Whoa! Don't fall. There you go. All this tape. I don't know where my razor is, guys. <laughs> I don't know where my blade is. How many of you guys think this bike is probably gonna fall over? Because it's always a struggle with Shreddy. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Mad Villain MF said, yo, nice. let's go. Let's freaking go. He said, how fast does it go and what's the range? It's going to be like 28 miles an hour. It's got a 14 amp hour battery. Uh, we'll definitely do a, a range test on this sucker. But uh, 750 watt motor, I think it peaks at 1,050 watt or 1,150. Yeah, your Sosa Shredhead member says, nice color. Ah, I love that color for sure. Wish I had like a little army star right there. That'd be sick. Scoot said, I want to put a sidecar on one of my e-bikes, but the sidecars are very pricey. I wonder how much this, I have to check out uh, what the price is with the sidecar. Actually, I'll let you know the price right now. There's a link in the video's description uh, to check out the Mod Easy Bike and Sidecar. You can save $100. It's, yeah, $41.90, but use code SHREDDY, 100 bucks off that. I see it? laughing. He said, Shreddy said, feels so soft and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> what about the bike? <laughs> smooth. The paint. Smooth. Uh, Scarecrow Shredhead members in the chat. He said, hello. I What's like the up? color combination. Hell yeah. What up, Scarecrow? Welcome, welcome. I'm going to use their tools. I like their tools. They look cool. All right, you guys. We're moving closer. I'm going to get this off so I can get the... The handlebar on there. Actually, though, I gotta move this forward. There you go. Yeah. All 
don't know how f much tilt I want on this. I'm actually not sure how to lock this down. Is Paltama in here? <laughs> Where's my Paltama? There's like two sides. Wait a second, I might have to turn it around. Turn around. Oh, hold on, let me look at the, the no, we're good, instruction we're good. book. Instruction book, what is that? Oh man. All right, I gotta take that off. All right, so this is quick release. The scarecrow just asked how fast it goes as well. 28 miles an hour. Quick release, there we go. I'll take off that little, uh, take this off because that's, where's the other little, there should be two of these little like springs from the quick release. I only see the one on the one side, which is kind of weird. Anyways, I'm going to put the handlebars on so I can flip the bike upside down and work on it so I can get the tire on. Um, actually, it said hi. Hi. <laughs> Matt's mechanic, bring a sidecar Sunday. I'll ride passenger. <laughs> that would be fun. I don't know if we can do the 60 uh, full miles. <laughs> that might be uh, a little hard to reach. We might have two sidecars by Saturday. Yeah, actually. That would be pretty funny to have uh, two, two sidecar e-bikes on the, on the group ride. Yeah, perfect time for Halloween too. They always like remind me of like Halloween yeah, vintage look. Oh. Jair Sosa said, perfect for a romantic trip on a beautiful sunset. Dude. Oh, like if I fit in the sidecar? <laughs> I don't know if this is what that little, that little piece of metal sticking out the side. Is for, I scoot said the sidecar is a $1,000 option. Dude, but how much fun would you have with your kids or your dog? That would be so freaking awesome. Oh, hold on. I want to put the handlebars on. Zero Boy Rick said he's pretty sure the stem is backwards. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, the pinch bolt should be... Do I have to loosen the pinch bolts, too? All righty. I'm gonna throw Eddie the instruction manual. Here you go. <laughs> Normally, you loosen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Normally, if it's, I don't want to flip that. Cause, yeah, that's about the right thing. Now it's gonna be a struggle with Shreddy, huh? Because if I turn this, yeah, because this it looks like this should be on the. All right, we're gonna look. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Yeah, Yoho Sun said, you're going to cruise the skeleton up to the stop and go taco? <laughs> I should probably say. Actually, that's not a bad, bad idea. Once we, we uh, uh this isn't the, the, the full instruction manuals. I probably got to go online and find them. They emailed it to you. Mario Madness said he hasn't seen any e-bikes with a sidecar before. Well, we're going to see one hopefully today if I can get this handlebars on it. <laughs> Uh, Shreddy, the phone's right behind you that has the instruction manual. Oh, there was instructions not to put this together. It was for the sidecar. And actually, there's a, there's a little bit involved for the sidecar instructions. four different links in the email. Hold on, let me give you the for, phone. For, like, instructions. Let's give you the phone. <laughs> I wonder if I can still flip the bike upside down and get the tires on. Yeah. Oh, it's like... Like an empty hole in there. Here's a picture of it. it says adjustable stem. It does show it kind of forward facing. Yeah, the pinch bolts are facing uh, the rider, so it is. It's on backwards. So, that's a first.
So I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to have to loosen up the pinch bolt and this will turn. We'll see. We'll see. Guys, it's a struggle with shreddy. You guys are always here to help out. There we go. Now I gotta figure out how to get it like perfectly straight. Ice Kid said Sparks Like Works build a custom e bike sidecar rig a while back. I think it might be for sale. I don't oh, remember seeing that. Do you? Yeah, yeah, it was like silver, I think. It's like a silver. I wonder. I might have to. I wonder if they just like custom made it for like one of their projects. Um, Yoho Sun, hit that like button, y'all. Thank you, Yoho Sun. I appreciate it, brother. Yair Sosa, don't cheat. Don't read the manual. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we can figure this out. I'm going to leave this like semi loose so I can like still manage to get it like perfectly straight because right now I can't really tell since I'm not sitting on it and the handlebars aren't on it. There we go. All right. Let's try to get thirsty. Go. They have a beginner product sheet or an advanced product sheet. Uh, beginner. <laughs> Let's start with beginner. Even I'm a though, beginner. Even though you should I've be never, advanced. I've never done this. It's a, every time I do it, it's like a, it's a different bike, so it's like a new experience. <laughs> I've never done this one, right? Any questions, guys? I know this part's not fun to watch. You guys want to get in closer? I got to bring like drills, like tools. Speed up the process, right? I'm just going to get all these guys started. I'm going to start by tightening this one up too much. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions, DB? Like I say that a lot. Any questions? Any questions? This is your shreddy on everything. Feels like it's like really hard to turn. Like it's kind of feels like it's like not straight. Does it look straight? And how do you usually put those on? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Supposed to go like you know start down here and then go up here, kind of like in like a cross pattern. But it feels weird. It feels weird. I don't know if this one isn't like. A little bit crooked. What? Struggle is real. Let me get back to some comments. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, it was like a little sideways. Yo, son, will Shreddy be able to? Grass crash the sidecar. Hmm. I want to try to we side wheelie the sidecar. That's my uh, <laughs> my my life goal. Ice cute. When does the tree go up? Huh. I That's, think I'm gonna put it up. Should be pretty soon, right? Day after Halloween. I've already kind of been wanting to. Yo ho, son. How fast can Bomber Marv get a sidecar to go? Triple digits. <laughs> <laughs> Bomber Marv is the e-bike wizard. Yeah, we're going to have to test it out in the video to see, like... We'll be riding with him Sunday. So, they recommend that the sidecar only goes 10 miles per hour, right? That's what they recommend. Well, we'll test it out in the video. You guys want me to go down the stairs on it to see if it works? <laughs> I'll surely try. Yo, son said more room for batteries. Matt, the mechanic, T-handles Eddie. 
I wonder if we could do that. Yeah, I know. Um, I wonder if we can fill the sidecar with just batteries for group rides. Well, give me your batteries. I will hoard them for you. All right. Woo! I got sweaty with shreddy. You can put your book bag in the sidecar too. Not done yet though. Still not done. Blue nose. Seamus only a 750 watt motor. If you're dragging someone around with you, should be at least one. One k. One thousand. It peaks at a thousand. I think a thousand and fifty watts or. 1,150 watts. If you guys wouldn't mind checking, that'd be so sick. Oh, I gotta tighten this up too. He'll do a hill test in the review video also. I will. Should I do a hill test with, with the sidecar? They're asking <laughs> if it'll be a struggle on the hill. That would probably be a little struggle. I'm guessing this is where we tighten it. Mike Morgan. Is the battery proprietary or a standard rectangular size that is shrink wrapped? I nice wonder if we can actually look. take the, the battery out. Is it removable? That's a, actually a good question. We'll have to figure that out and see if it's removable. Matt like, Mechanic says, it? stair test, good idea. <laughs> you want to see that? <laughs> do you want me on the stairs in it too? Yeah, no, let's I'm get D to do it. How do you, oh yeah, yeah. That's, Amelia that's like Soquero, little... nice bike. There's like this little thing right here, the little plate in the front that you tighten, right? Yeah, Blue Nose said he wants yep. a hill test with D in the sidecar, please. <laughs> there we go. Hold on, hill test or stair test? We can do both. <laughs> We're gonna turn into like a stunt. I forgot there's this plate right I need here. a stunt double. There we go, this plate stops it from going up and down. That's really low, that's almost like cafe racer style. <laughs> well, you have to put the Tires on to see how low it is. Yeah. All right. Don't, uh, guys, remind me to uh, tighten the pinch bolts before the end of the video, please. And then I got to find a little spring for the other side unless it doesn't need it. Guys, if you, if you know, do I need boat, a spring here and a spring there? Normally for these quick releases, that's how it is. Ah, I got dry mouth. Let me drink. Yo, son, sidecar would make a good rescue vehicle. Someone get a flat they can ride with you and tow the bike back. That's not a bad idea. Is the rear brake on the right? Oh, oh boy. Oh, hold on. Let me still keep taking stuff I off. Scoot said I'm liking those tires. Me too, bro. Me too. Oh my God, I cut the brake. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> I mean, that, it's probably bound to happen at some point. I'm gonna cut a brake cable. Please be the rear. All right, thank you. Um, he said, I'm liking those tires. Much. I do not understand why everyone needs knobbies. Uh, some people like doing crazy off-road stuff like, like yours truly. I like riding off-road. Yeah, this is more of a cruiser bike. Definitely. Oh, you definitely don't need knobbies with a sidecar, I, don't, I wouldn't say. The tires do look sick though, I do like the tires. And uh, for anybody watching after the fact, this is a live stream, so that's why it takes so long to get everything going. You can just fast forward if it's <laughs> not live right now. <laughs> Some people yell at me after the fact, like, why does it take it so long? I'm like, uh, it's live, dude. It's freaking live. Make sure you pull that out, throw it there. The car does look pretty cool though. Yes, it's awesome. Hiya! Get it right in there. All right, so my guess is I want this on the opposite side of the rotor. But I, let me look around one second in case there is that little spring because- Ice Scoot said yes, you need a spring on both yeah, sides. Yeah, where is the other spring? Amelia Socorro said I love the color. Because yeah, I don't feel like the resistance. Yeah, the color is amazing, you guys. It looks even better in person. I might not be able to too, right? I wish you could see it in person. 
All right, hold on. It's like a very, very matte yes, military green. Yes, I do green. need those springs. Let me check the bottom of the box. Yo, son, how heavy do they claim it to be? What is the weight of the bike? What is the weight of the bike? Hold on one second. Hold on. <laughs> I don't see a spring. Let me just make sure there wasn't one in here. Nope, no spring there. No spring, no spring, no spring. I mean, it would have been... On there already. Yeah, they on there already. They can't come off. Like, yeah, it was attached to here, like... Oh. Oh, there it is. Huh. Thank goodness. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked about that, but yeah. Freaking snake. All right, so what are you doing now? Oh, getting a quick release in there, axle. Put that in there. And like, I, I really never know how, how tight to do these. I know it's not super duper tight, but tight enough. So. Did you answer about the weight? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me get the. Do you have the phone, D? Could you, uh, would you mind checking the specs? Sure. Thank you. And you guys, he'll go over all the specs in a second, too. Yes. All right. Let's see how tight we can. All right. That's way over tight. And that's not tight enough. I see. What is the brand of that those tires? Good. That feels good. These are, they're 24 by threes and they are Kendas. Are they, what are the names of the Kenda what's? Do you see a name on the other side? We had Thai food for the first time today. It was really good and very like super duper healthy. Never had it before. It was actually spicy. And some of the stuff was like really sweet. We got like a mango, mango curry. Mango curry. And then we had like a papaya salad. Yeah, that was good. It was all healthy. Co and yeah, it was like mango curry with like coconut milk. Yeah, it was I, good. I thought Thai food was like super duper crazy spicy, but it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Looks like, I don't think the battery does. I, don't know. I mean, it probably comes out, but I don't know how easy it is for us to do it. I see the charging port right there. Yoho said, put a Grizzly double battery and a Grizzly front motor Dude, on that thing. that'd be sick. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Uh, pedals. We're gonna do pedals and we got a headlight. I'm gonna use the, the little wrench here. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> Getting sweaty out here. Getting sweaty. Steinbag said, mini torque oh, wrench. That's right, right. Matt the mechanic said, where did you eat? I love Thai food. What was oh, the name of it? I forget, but I, when we were there, I was like, we have to tell Matt about this place. We saw it on um, Gather's, Gather went there today. On it has their an R on the actual pedal. Went there. Gather who makes the good cookies around here. They make um, Dolce de Leche cookies. Dolce de Leche. So good. There you go. Ice Cube said the sidecar weighs 42 pounds. And Not I think too bad. it has a 120 pound weight capacity. Yep. And Ice Cube said the bike weighs 77 pounds. Not bad. Thank you, Ice Scoot. You rock, brother. All right, all right. Got to make sure I bed the brakes before the first review. Got to fill up the tires. What do they suggest for how much? Pressure do we put in these bad boys? 40 PSI is a max, but I'll probably do like maybe 30. 30? Oh, <laughs> I thought we were in. Okay, we're gonna have to do this by hand. So what are you doing now? There we go. Let's get the other pedal in. Just gotta get it started before you do it this way. There you go. 
makes it more fun. Any questions? Any questions? Oh, Loon is in the chat. He said, yo, Shreddy. Who is? Loon. What's up, Loon? How you been, brother? Come uh, to our ride this Sunday, bro. Taking off around noon. I'll have to throw you in the chat, actually. All right, I got to do, tighten up the pinch bolts, get the, get my handlebars straight. Uh, headlight, possibly fender. Try not to kill you, D. <laughs> there we go. Ah. All right, oh, so I need man. to do a little work with the handlebars. <laughs> I need to point them up a little bit more. But man, that's super cafe racer style. That actually kind of looks cool to tell you the truth. <laughs> so yeah, I need, to, I need to tilt this forward and away from me since how, how close it is. But this is a crazy position. I've never had a position like this on an e-bike though. Pretty wild. How's that look? Does it look funny? <laughs> no, so close. You think it looks cool? Guys, comment. Should I keep oops, should I keep the bars like that or should I tilt this forward and tilt the bars up more like a standard I position? I would make it go up a teeny tiny bit because they look yeah. far back towards you. Okay. So yeah, a little bit away from like me. In their photos, it looks like that is tilted. So it would be more forward. It's, it's all preference, really. I mean, what, what, do, what do the guys think? I would tilt it forward more and then have the handlebars up more. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think I might be able to fit on this. Like, Actually, we can definitely see. Which would be amazing. It does say five foot one to six foot nine. Okay. And I am five two, so that's great. I'm just trying to get the, the bars like perfectly straight. Loon said Shreddy back at it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What'd he say? Shreddy back at it. Yes, sir. Um, Come Mario ride Madness. With us. Seems like you can get a seat for the back also. Not sure how fast you'd be going with three people though. Yo, imagine that. I've actually I saw pictures of people carrying like three little dogs or a little dog and a big dog in the little sidecar. And remember, guys, always check your nuts. Always check your <laughs> Luna nuts. Luna said, Loon, Shreddy has room in his sidecar this Sunday. <laughs> Come on. We'll fit you in. Uh, oh, let me tilt this forward a little bit, right? Yeah. What do you think? Tilt this forward or just the bars up? Tilt it forward. Like yeah, it looks that. better already. It looks way better. It looked like really short before. <laughs> It was like cafe racer though. It was like a cafe racer look. Yeah, it looks better. And then now, oh, I kind of like the bars tilted up like that. <laughs> and they tighten up the seat. Pull that towards me. Wow, the wheelbase is cool. Look how far the, the front wheel is. Whoa. Sick. All right, can't wait to get this thing turned on. Let me raise this. Actually, how much lower is it? That's the lowest it goes, D. Oh, so. okay. I thought it might go a little yeah. lower. It's pretty low though. I don't know. Might be okay. And it actually has a suspension seat post. Oh, that's nice. So you do have rear suspension, front suspension. We have hydraulic disc brakes. I do not know. No name brand on the, no names on there. No, I don't see a name on there. It looks like two piston hydraulic disc brakes. Definitely a 750 watt motor. We got the rear. I mean, you can actually get a uh, mod, like rack. I forget the name of the thing. It's like a little, little bag you can put on there. Faux leather. Yeah, they have a back grips. rack, a back seat. Seven speed, seven gears. Um, oh, sorry. I wanna, I wanna lift this up a little bit. I'll tighten it up. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have fun reviewing this sucker tomorrow. Now I'm gonna sit on it now a little bit higher. Oh yeah, the back tire is flat. Mario just pointed it out. Oh, is it? Oh wow, it's like I totally th flat. I thought it wasn't, but when he just sat on it, it does look flat. I'll fill it up after the the live stream, guys. Uh, what else? Oh, headlight. Headlight. Oh yeah, the headlight. 
I have the Fender, but I kind of, that looks so cool. What do you think? Fender or Fenderless? You guys want the Fender or no Oops. Fender? Fender or Fenderless? Fender or no Fender, guys? I think it'd be in the back. I want to say no Fender. It looks like a motorcycle like that. It looks cool. I don't know. It reminds me of like a chopper style thing. What are the guys saying? Should, oh, do a poll. Can you do a poll on there? If you guys don't mind voting, helping out. Fenderless or Fender? That's gonna help me uh, decide whether to put the headlight on now or wait. And, oh, it looks like the headlight goes up here. Okay, or down here. Uh, I would say up here, okay. Hold up. I, don't, I actually don't know how the light goes on, but we'll figure it out, right? We always figure it out. I don't know if I need that. Do I need this? I don't know what this is even for. But I feel like this goes like here. We're just guessing, guys. We're, we're playing the guessing game. <laughs> My guess it goes there. Through here, through this little hole. Yeah, that bike's, uh, the light's going to make the bike look really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's got to go Let's there. Let's check that out the light, and then I'll get back to the comments. But what are the, the rest of the metal stuff? Like, Did I really need that? Guys, help me. Help me. What is your question? Did I, did I need those metal parts? The rest of that metal stuff? Did I need that for some kind of a... Uh... Yeah, because that's like a lot to tighten. Instructions. Struggle with Shreddy. Mike Morgan said, check the tire beads before inflating. Shipping can make the tire beads off center. Good idea. I'll over inflate it too a little bit. You guys are the best. You always, you guys are always helping me out with great tips. Okay, maybe. No, not because that won't go through there. Matt the mechanic said, I like it. Matt the mechanic. Where's, the, where's this light go? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's Yo, all. son. Don't look like it would ride stable like that, but it looks cool. Brent okay. Collins, the bar's way back is going to put all of your weight on your rump. That'll be painful. Hold on, with the, did he say with the handlebars all the way back like yeah. that would be bad for my biscuits? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Matt said put a Fisher Fab on this. I don't know. I am not sure about the headlight, guys. Yeah, Brent said it's best to lean forward a bit so your core, arms, and hands are supporting so, some of your weight. So I'm not like leaning over the bars, right? Yeah, and Daniel Mueller said much better. Everyone likes the bars Does higher. Like that? Blue Nose said pannier. I don't know what that means. Those are like bags. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty sure. Matt said, don't forget to tighten the stem. Thank you. Yoho son, you must do an old school duel. A drive by side, to, wait, a drive by bike to sidecar, bike sword fight. I think I figured this out. They want you to do a dueling sword fight. <laughs> what, with the uh, uh, sidecar versus yeah. sidecar? Not a bad idea. Ice Scoot said, I just took the fenders off my bike. It looks better without them. That's going to fall down. Matt said, it looks cool without fenders until it's wet out or a rock hits you. <laughs> that is true, yeah, getting rocked with a rock. Emilio said, put the fender on. Mario said, fenders are useless if never riding in the rain or mud. Did we do a poll? Mike Morgan said, fenders. Brent said, without fender. It looks like we're tied. <laughs> The Scarecrow, a Shredhead member, said, I am a Fender guy, but I like the no Fender on the front. Always Mario to... Madness, pictures showing lights on shock. Did you hear that? Pictures showing the light on the shock? I thought it went up here, but where, where would it go here? Because it has like, like it's like too. side mounted like this. It doesn't, it yeah, looks it does... like it should go down one. So it's in the middle right there. You got a check picture? your instruction book. You got a picture? 
I feel like I should just put the light here because I feel like it's Where's it Laco, guys? There, right? <laughs> That's where it should go. We're gonna just make it work here, guys. All right. Neil Little, what's up, Shreddy? Tell the truth, that looks, the I, I like it up there. <laughs> hey, Neil. And where do we connect? What's yeah, up, Eddie, Neil? Eddie, they have it lower right above the fender. On this one or right here? In their photos. Like here, on this thing? Yeah, but then it looks too low. I would put it just down one right I think there. That looks dope like that. I, I, I like that look. What do you Actually, guys? it looks like it's on the fender. Okay, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. And we'll go figure it out how it goes on the fender because I'm not sure how it works on the fender. I, I think you should just put it down one there so it's in the middle. Here's the picture. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Where should he put the light, you guys? Down one or on the fender? <laughs> or on the fender. Yeah, Mar like Mario said, the picture showing the lights on the shock. Oh. NJNP, Shreddy, forgot to wish you happy Indigenous Peoples Day last week. Awesome, thank you. I'm a Boricua indig Indigenous person. <laughs> Math the mechanic, zoom into the light. Let's see what we are working with. Show me what you're working with. As soon as yeah, he gets it, it on, you guys, I'll zoom in so you can see the light with the bike yeah, better. Yeah, let me get it off first. There we go. There we go. Finger tight. I mean, it, it totally looks like it went right here. Eddie, you can't just put it down one. The whole setup. Like on, yeah, right All there. All right, here, here we go. Here's what we're working with. There's like a little sleeve. This little piece of metal, right? Bolt and that, right? So maybe this is like some kind of adapter to make it fit. So you have to put the fender. On the front, I guess? Hold up, hold the freaking door. Hold up. <laughs> if it's not a struggle, it's not a struggle. Right, Amelia said, love this bike. Loon said, Shreddy, where are you going to put the bike, LOL? Should I? Do you guys want me up in front of you guys right now? Mario said, jousting with sidecars. Yes, always in front of us, please. Okay. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. Loon said, I love the colors. Charlie said, with fenders. Fenders? Yeah, everyone's saying it, the light's closer to their fender on the website. Read the guides. No. <laughs> you, well, you read it for bosses, me. Sometimes they're for baskets. All right, so where do I just put the nut? Dan Bob says no fender. Did, did. I just got this together, but I lost my nut. Matt said your light wants to rotate. The nut. So I'm guessing I tighten this all up and then use this to screw it through, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm, hold up. I feel like I need to find that little baby nut first though before I do anything else because now I am, I am nutless. <laughs> Sounds like a person no problem. Here it is, all right. So, could this just go here like that? That's probably what's going on. Can you see D? CD. I mean, I'm looking at your back. <laughs> CD. Should we come around? Let's get closer. Okay. So, my thoughts. This is the mount for it. So you put the little guy through there, the little guy through here, right? And get this little guy. And then you get this little guy and you screw, you screw it in like this. And then that goes like here and then like that. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I'm totally right. I got this 100% right. I probably should get better tools. So let me come right back. It's going to be like 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Okay. It might not be 10 seconds. Six, five. Nope, more than 10 seconds, not that, not that. 
It was like maybe 20, no, 15 seconds. Probably 15 seconds. How to get this? Get this. Ah. I do have tools, but. <laughs> I see you said leave the light off. Thing is overrated. Uh, yes. I, I'm actually interested to see what the light looks like with like that yellowish tint to it. Hold on, is that not even the right freaking size? Dynamic said sleeve in the middle to keep it from collapsing when you tighten it down. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I feel like I don't have the right. And then this is probably not going to work, is it? My tool game weak. My tool game is weak sauce. Okay, light, sleeve, I feel like that's how it goes, what, on the outside or on the inside, I think the outside, there, sleeve, straight through, see guys, we can figure this out somehow, there we go, okay, nut, where are you nut, you nut, I don't think that sleeve goes there, though. Finger tightening it right now. Any questions, D? Try not to scratch. Okay. <laughs> or or scratch it. Oh, uh, Dimebag said sleeve between the ears on the bolt that you tighten. What is that? You always need the nut first. Sleeve between the ears on the bolt that you tighten, you always need the nut first. Everyone's saying put on the fender, stick with the vintage vibe. You like the fenders? <laughs> Mario did we, did said, we do a poll? <laughs> Mario said still wrong, just look at the photo. Good job, buddy. Hold on, what? Michael Ross, does anyone know if they sell just the bike without the sidecar? If so, I'd be very interested in making a purchase next month or treat myself for Christmas present. Yeah, they do. They actually do. Can you see what the price is for that? If you, if you do want to get this bike, you can use code SHREDDING. Get $100 off your order. There is a link down below. In the description of this video, there is a link yep. to click for mod bikes. You can buy the bike separate from the sidecar. You can buy the bike and the sidecar. Use code SHREDDY for $100 off. Thank you, Didi. SHREDDY with an I-E. With an I-E, just like my name. I feel like it's not getting as tight as I want Derek it. Derek said, on the side, it looks like there is a little arm that lifts the light up and connects to the piece you're mounting to the fork. And Dimebag said, yes, that's right. It seems like that's how it goes. Mario said the sleeve does connect to the light, but you're missing a part. What am I missing? Ice cute. Why do they yeah. call it easy? <laughs> yeah, I Mike, feel like it needs like something else in there, but. Mike Morgan said nice looking light. That's all we had. Matt said, <laughs> I'm cringing watching this. Get over here. <laughs> Matt, get over here. <laughs> Sucks when, when your tool game is so weak. You should have a lot of tools by now. Oh no. All right. We're on, we're on, whatever. Whatever. All right, what are these keys for? Do I have? It looks like the light's on, right? <laughs> to me. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it uh, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, here it is, I'm looking for this. Uh, there's keys here, but I, I don't know what they're for. Is it to start the actual bike? Derek said the price is $3,290. He used code SHREDDY for $100 off. Ooh, okay, so we do have a keyhole here. Mike Morgan, looks like they sell in. front baskets oh. also. Oh, whoa, look how this opens. This is pretty neat. Let me turn this around and, and show you guys this. This is kind of cool. Oh, 
what? You guys want the fender on? They say they want the fender. We're gonna struggle doing the fender too. All right. So, make sure that tar doesn't. Anyway. So check this out. Oh, check that out. What? That is cool. Stash bot. So that's your battery. And it's all connected through there. That's so awesome. I'll, I'll partially open it so you guys can see in there. It's actually a sealed battery. It feels like a plastic case. That's pretty cool. They got it sealed in the case and in the bag. Here, we'll take a closer look. Oh, yeah. There you go. So it's a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery, I'm pretty sure. 14 or 15. That's kind of cool. Can I see how many amps this controller is? Oh, it's like a little cover on there. I don't see any markings. I guess it's probably like a 20 amp controller. That's pretty neat how the door opens like that. I actually like that. Pretty neat. You could put like your wallet up there and stuff. It's a little, little storage spot. Not bad. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so that's how that opens. And you can probably unplug everything and take the battery with you. Let me open it one more time. Let me just look at it. Yeah, XC60 connected in there. And then your little barrel connector plug here. So you probably unplug those two, pull it right out. Nice. So that's cool if um, you live in a cold environment, you don't wanna leave the bike out in the garage, get too cold, bring your, bring your battery inside. Dig that, that's awesome. All right, so let's turn this sucker on. The, so, oh. How was the votes for the fender? The fender or no fender? Well, now that I got the light on, Everyone I don't think I even wanna do the fender. More <laughs> votes for the fender. No votes for the fender? Yes, more. More votes? Yeah. Uh, what's the percentage here? 67%. So, oh, okay. <laughs> you guys want me to take this off You guys, again? we'll be going over the specs and the accessories this bike comes with as soon as he puts this fender on. <laughs> Hold on, let me think. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna put the fender on because I'm gonna have to unscrew the, t the, the light off totally. You, to get to here, to get there, to, to get the it. fender we on. We have to see it with the fender. Can I just do this? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I gotta unscrew that and then put that under there. So, I gotta like kind of put the fender together. See that little hole there? And that little thing there? I gotta unscrew these two. Put Can it you go over there. some accessories the bike comes with? Um, so yeah, Mike Morgan said it looks like it comes with the front basket. I wonder how, how much weight this rear rack can handle. The max is 55 pounds for the rear rack. And it does come with uh, two little ties, two little strap, or actually it's one strap, but it has like two sides, like that little dual sided. That's pretty cool. All right, so that goes like that. So if we want to put like a little basket on the back, let's uh, check out the website. I'll show you the like little rack bags that they have, little mod rack bags. Um, Turn the headlight these way. Yes. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah, definitely. And once the fender's on, you guys, for the review, it'll look really cool. And we still have to check out the sidecar. So, yeah, this thing's got a top speed of 28 miles an hour, 750 watt motor. Oh, where, where do my specs go? Pretty sure it's a 1,050 watt peak on this motor. Hold up. Oop. Patreon. MOD. Does anyone know if they ship to the UK? There we go. So yeah, we got a geared hub motor. It's got 69 newton meters of torque for the motor. Uh, it says it's got an advanced digital display, uh, front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. We got a Suspension saddle, front adjustable uh, suspension. Looks like we got, oh, can we tighten this up? What's going on here? Yeah, preload, and then you can lock out the, uh, the suspension for pedaling. Um, faux leather grips, neoprene cable covers on the front there. That's considered a cafe racer style headlight that I got to tighten down way more than what it is right now. 
retro aluminum frame. Uh, da -da. So yeah, like what I say, max torque 69 newton meters, max speed 28, range up to 45 miles. I'm sure uh, it's gonna be in mode one. Uh, pedaling, Samsung 720 watt hours. Um, <laughs> it does have a password protected display so you could add your own password on there. It's child seat compatible. You can actually throw another seat on the back like that. Look at this seat, D. See that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then that's like their, their little rack bags you can get from mod bikes. Or you can get that. Damn, they have like a lot of cool things you can do. And then we're going to open that next. I'm not going to put it on, but we're just going to open it and check it out. All right. So it's for riders between 5'1 and 6'7. These 5'3, I'm not... I'm five foot two. Sure, five foot two. Mm -hmm. When the seat was lower, it looked like I could probably get on with my platform. So maybe for the review, you can try it. Let's lower it again, that way people can see it. So we have a few um, questions. Does anyone know if they ship to the UK? I'm not sure, actually. I wish they were in here. If you guys are interested in this bike, definitely make sure you use that link down below. Use code Shreddy. 100 bucks off your order. Uh, yeah, Michael, the link is in the description of this video. Look how Go long it is. Go through the link, um, check out the bike. Ooh. Maybe you can send them a message through the link and ask if they ship to the Which UK. Is good. And remember to use code SHREDDY with the IE. This look here. I scoot. how much we can we fit in with the battery? <laughs> <laughs> not, not too much. It look, does, doesn't look like there's much room for that. Unless maybe, you want a non-electric bike, then couple, you can fit a lot to take the battery out. A couple cues or something. <laughs> Matt the Mechanic, where is this made? Austin, Texas, my friend. Austin, Texas. Mike Morgan, the battery design looks cool, but is proprietary aspect a trade-off for high waterproofing? Say that again? He said... Can you reword that for dumb people like me? The battery <laughs> design looks cool, but is the proprietary aspect a trade-off for higher waterproofing? I'm actually not... I wish my bikes was in here to help me answer some of these questions. I thought they were going to be here. Uh, math mechanics, so much work, lol. Too much. He said yes. You heard it, guys. Ice Cube, Connecticut. The sidecar is on the wrong side for UK. <laughs> that makes sense, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jo Joel Hoffman, are we live? We are live. Joel, Joel, <laughs> Joel. Joel, we're live, Joel. We're live right now. We can't fast forward, man. I, I know you guys want to fast forward some of the time. <laughs> when I'm struggling, you're like, okay. Get to the next part, get over this. All right, now it feels pretty sick, all right. Matt's gonna have to come over and help me tighten that, that sucker up. What the heck is this thing? I don't even get it. Anyways. Um, I kinda wanna tighten this up a little bit more. Make people cringe. <laughs> Any questions? Any bikes you guys are excited to see? Are you guys headed to the uh, Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas? Or there was one recently, what, in Florida, D? Yeah, Miami, Florida. I think there's like micro mobility going on, possibly around this time. Still doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I, I must be missing something. Like something that holds that sleeve in there, like maybe some kind of spacer or something. Where's all my parts? Where's all my parts? All right, let's get it started. Let's see how the uh, throttle curve is on here, and then we'll get to the sidecar. Why is the... Oh, no, okay, okay, now it's okay. Oh, no. All right, where's my power? Where, how do you turn it on? Oh, right here. Think. Does the battery need to be fully charged? Am I missing something here? Is there an on switch? Edmund Kim, this is a cool kid mobile. It totally is. Do I need to charge it before I, th I don't think I've ever had it. Like it's completely dead battery. Hold on, let me make sure everything's plugged in. Display. Plugged in, plugged in. Joel said, hey, man, I'm going to be in Everything looks Ken Lopin Saturday checking out the trails. Saturday. I mean, dude from Bethany has been messaging you, haha. -ha. Bro, we have a ride Sunday. Why don't you join us? Sunday at noon, we're going to be leaving from the church. Um, I don't know why it's not turning on. So 
Let me get the keys, open the little door, make sure there isn't like an on switch or something in this door. Oh, I thought there was like a button on the other side. A button? I don't know. I thought I saw something. Maybe it was the key thing I saw. Mm. Nope, 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 Joel nope. said, this is a great sleeper bike to slide past the cops. <laughs> it totally is. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, everything looks good. Everything looks on. Mod bikes, where are you guys? Pop in my comments. Can we hit up Ellie for mod bikes? Sorry to hop in this live stream. Do we got her number? We told her about it. So <laughs> if she's going to be in, she's going to be in. Um. I mean, the only, only other thing I could think of is plugging in the battery to see if it accepts a charge. Yeah. But oh. where's the on switch? I had other bu other e-bikes too that their batteries go in like in a standby mode, and there's like a button you can hit to take it out of the standby mode. But I'm not sure if this has that set up or what. Pass me the phone, and maybe I can send them a message. Uh, uh, let's see. Mike Morgan said, too much weight on flat tires can cause a pinch flat. Just Okay, saying. I won't sit on it. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Joel Hoffman, I want your Zeus. Which one? 1100? 1200? Uh, 750? <laughs> I'm waiting for my 1200 to get back here. Uh, Mike Feedy's got it. He's got to do a review, and then he'll bring it back. So I'll do like a little range test on that coming up soon. Tactical Z, what e-bike would you recommend for 2500 or less? Engineer Aero Rider? in Texas. What's he, what's he choosing from? An e-bike for 2500 or less. Aero what? Rider question. I mean, what, what are your options that, that, uh, that you've been looking like at right now? Sounds like he's already thinking about Aero Rider. So I yeah, <laughs> it's seeming like you might want the Aero Rider. There's so. a link for Aero Rider in the video description below. So it'd save you like $50 off. I just want to make sure everything's connected here. Oh, mm, mm, mm. If not, we're going to have to just move over and not turn on the bike and get that sidecar out because I have no idea why we're not getting any power. Matt said, let's put the Suron force on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the DNM force on there. Imagine that. That would be hilarious. Oh, don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. Oh, no, I know. I like the size of it, the look. Like, it definitely matches, like, like the style that I like. Um... I'm gonna try all the buttons. Let's no, get the sidecar out. No, 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 okay. Derek said, turn on the display by holding the I button on the control panel. Oh, the I button, okay. Cause there's like a little button on the front. You're the best. Did it work? Yeah. All right. I, I just want to show you guys the, uh, the throttle curve on this. Ooh. Oh, the throttles. Okay. Alrighty. Full throttle, right? Now. Yeah, it feels like I got some control over it. So I definitely like it. Okay. So I wonder what that button down here does. Nothing. Like a USB button. Okay, anyways, we're gonna get the sidecar out because I could sit here and try to figure things out for forever. I don't know if I'm gonna have room. I'm gonna have to like push this over here. That's fine. I gotta plug in that headlight too because I just left it hanging. We'll get the, I'll get that light off after the the screen get the fender on you guys want the fender on for the review right so you guys are gonna get the fender for the review mod bikes also has uh, different bikes on their website as well so you guys definitely check out their website through shreddy's link in his video's description yes yes use code shreddy for a hundred dollars off don't let that leak on the <laughs> on the couch all right can i get this out joel, in the way joel said sunday what church uh, what's the name of that church on Fort Ruan? Joe, can you message me on Instagram? I'll add you to that chat. 
We're leaving like at noon. Noonish. Ask ish. Oh, mod, mod bikes, yo go. We are mod here. Mod bikes, finally. <laughs> you guys got to tell me how bad I did the headlight. <laughs> huh. All right, I'm sorry, dude. I just totally just threw that in there. All right. They said oh, mod bikes. They said Sten looks reversed. It's, uh, hold on. It looks like everything, yeah. Uh, the pinch bolts are facing me right here. I just have the stem like perf like up straight instead of like leaning it towards me or leaning it forward. But I'll fix all that. <laughs> um, headlight, that's the problem. That was my problem. Can you zoom in on that, D? Mm -hmm. I thought that that little sleeve went in there, but I, I don't know what I did wrong. If, if I'm missing a piece or what, what's going on. <laughs> but I got the little mount on there. And then, you know, the little screw go through there, a little sleeve. Can you tilt it back? Nut. Yeah. Yeah. Is that wrong? <laughs> it seems wrong. I feel like that, that sleeve needs something else in there. What have I done? Okay, so my bike said this stem looks reversed. Uh, Joel said old military motorcycle, very cool bike. Mod bikes said yes, we can ship to the UK. Nice, there you go. Mod bikes, the you pinch bolts need below. to face the other side, then you can tilt the handlebar outwards. Hold on, what? The pinch oh, bolts. so the pinch bolts do face forward? Yeah. I oh, they do? I thought they faced the rider. <laughs> Everyone thought they faced the other way. Ah. <laughs> so we turned it. I totally did turn it, but yeah, when I- Yeah, that's what I kept saying. It, it's, for, it's supposed to be forward. It's forward in their photos. Ah, uh, that means I got to take off the, uh, the handlebars too. So the pinch bolts face forward. <laughs> okay. We're, we're going to get to the, the sidecar right quick. Let me get that out and then we'll fix all that. Yes, the pinch bolts need to face the other side. Then you can tilt the handlebar outwards. Gotcha. Let me get this, let me get this cleared out. Let me get this. Here, here, here. Don't lose the keys. Then you can adjust the stem angle. Oh, uh, do you guys want me to That's do that really quick? That's what I kept saying. <laughs> it's like the, they have theirs angled forward. So now I gotta loosen me pinch bolts. And then I gotta take off the handlebars too. Do you guys want me in the front? Yes, please. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you do it. This is how we do it. Na, 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 na. Everyone in the chat thought that it was reversed, so he reversed it. Yeah, turn it around. They're like, that looks backwards. <laughs> okay. I'll flip it. And I'll flip it. It is a cool headlight. I like how it's like... Like an orangey color with a green bike, it looks neat. How about that we can still tilt it like that? Okay. Gotcha. So, handlebars coming off. <laughs> uh, John W. asked, are there any cornering problems with squarish tires? We're going to see when we do the review, I'll, I'll definitely check that out for you guys. I'll carve deep. I'll hit the, I'll uh, do a nice little brake check on them. So we'll definitely see how they handle. Joel Hoffman, you're going to make me join you Instagram just to message you. I don't do social oh. media except oh. YouTube, but I'll check it out. What's the name of the church, D? Or Facebook. You yeah. get, you have Facebook. I, I have a, um, like a chat with everybody that's on the group rides. So it just makes on it Instagram. easier to like all like chat in there and. Talk about what's going on, what we got coming up. My bikes, you said it at the beginning, follow the user guide. <laughs> yes, I threw it at him too. <laughs> I, was, I just, you, know, you guys know. We got to do struggling with Shreddy so you guys can help me figure things out. <laughs> Do 
Dude, I got I have drills. I totally have drills. I could be doing this with a drill, but <laughs> we're doing it the old school way. I like the color of those. Matches the headlight. Which I need to figure out the headlight situation too. Did they ever say anything? My bikes. My my headlight game is Oh, what about the headlight weak. mod bikes? Is it okay? <laughs> Put that right there. Now we're gonna reverse the stem again. <laughs> I thought it did. It, it, it did look weird with it. All right. Oh my God, Sean W. Cool folks don't need no instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs instructions? Uh, I, do, I need to Freddie relies on his uh, chat members to help him through the bill. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. This is the only reason I do uh, the struggling with Shreddies. <laughs> so you guys can teach me. Teach me. Hold on, who named who named our struggling with Shreddy? I forget who named our our, sh our struggles. Um. Oh, so well, shout out. Mir Khan said, hey, Shreddy. What's up, Mir? How you doing, brother? What's today, Thursday? You guys enjoying your Bubba Thursday? Bubba Shitty said he came up with struggling with Shreddy. Struggle is real. Thank you, Bubba. Hold on, no, I thought it was Rory. Yeah. Or maybe it was. Bubba said it was him. Hell yeah. Oh, no. My little grommet thingies. All right. Does that look better <laughs> my bikes we're gonna see if i can fit in this in this sidecar by myself and then we're gonna see if my these... bike said try to adjust the stem down and forward okay i'm just gonna get this like sort of tightish The Mayor Khan said, continues. oh no, it's not Willy Wednesday. <laughs> I know, I haven't actually, have I done a Willy Wednesday post in a while? Last I've been wheeling that. every single day though, guys. Last like, week you did. The, uh, the wheelie game is definitely getting polished. Very polished. Bubba Shady said, you guys gave me the toey rope. Hell yeah, have you used it yet? <laughs> have you saved anybody? I always bring mine everywhere I go, just in case. You can actually use that for more than just towing. For sure. You can walk your dog with it. Oh, hey, you guys. I just want to mention um, in Shreddy's description of the video, there's a link for his Shreddy merch. It's cool because it's like it's his logo and it's like black and orange, so it's kind of cool for Halloween. You guys should definitely check that out. It does help support the channel. And You should be wearing your shirt. <laughs> okay, so now I got to tilt it, it back some more. So what do I say? Like tilt it forward like that, and then tilt the bars down. Do we you need to got see it. it. I think we need to see it sideways. You got it. Oh, let me tighten this up just to keep it up. Keep it up. The struggle continues. TBP said, "What's your favorite wheelie bike?" <laughs> Guess. Can you can you guys guess? Guess what my top two favorite wheelie bikes are right now. Hee! John W, much. have you tried to wheelie with a sidecar? I, I I bet you I can side wheelie it. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try the side side wheelie. Stick around for the review and we'll try it. Well, should I try it with D on it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't want to sit on it. I don't want to pinch the the tire. Who's telling me not to pinch it? Who said that? If you guys are enjoying this live and you want to support the channel and helping us get a transit van, we're working on getting a transit van or a sprinter van. Check out that link down below for mod bikes. Use code Shreddy, get a hundred bucks off your order. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make, really it it. make it dramatic. Make it dramatic. 
Who's got the best death metal scream out of all the e-bike influencers? <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one that has a Love death metal scream. Love says Thrawn and the 73 for wheelies. And Zeus. Okay. Really all right, long. now I gotta straighten, straighten the bars, get them nice and straight. Sorry, I'm all up in the way. I'll try to get my butt out of there as straight as possible here. That looks right. Can you show us the like like sideways? Hold on. Let me try to get this. Here, I I'll just put straightened. <laughs> Mario Madness, now I just got to fix that headlight. <laughs> yes. What's Yeah, what did I do wrong, uh, my bikes? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> oh, geez, that's, that's so funny. I think I got to tilt the bars down still a little bit more, but that's good. We're good. I want to see it like from the side. Alive. It's alive. There we go. Oh. I never turn on the headlight. Where is the plug-in for it? Where's my plug-in for the headlight? Uh, plug it in. We're gonna be checking out the sidecar next, guys. So make sure you stick around. Hit that like button. Guys, where's where's where do I plug this in? Uh, Beep Bop said, "I am new here, but if I stay tuned, will I see a quick ride?" Ah, uh, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in the house. I'll ride it in the house. <laughs> D, is that okay? Can I ride it in the house? You know what? I'm, I'll put it through the sleeve. And I'll also be doing a video like. review coming up, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Please subscribe. I, I gotta run it through the um. I gotta run the wire through like this little guy. Mirkan said, but. "How about full throttle Thursday?" I like that. Heck yeah, I like that, Mir. Let's do headlight plus maybe. E. Nice and bright. That looks cool. <laughs> Dig it. All right. Oh, it has a rear tail light too. I didn't even notice that. Yep, it's a rear integrated tail light that actually gets brighter when you hit it. Can I get it to you? There you go. Can you see it? Yes. Awesome. It's All right. brighter in person than in the video, I think. I'm going to set it here, and we're going to get into this thing where it's just, just going to look at it. Getting late. It's getting late, guys. Guys, ready to see the sidecar? I'm ready. Are you ready? Actually, I'm not ready because I don't know where the my little snippers went. Oh, my bike said, can you give us a closer look for the headlight bracket? Yes, I can. I definitely can do that. Dude, I'm always losing. Keep up said, it looks like nighttime and I care about FTV at night. The headlamp counts to me. <sighs> okay. And you also show the lights in the review video, right? Like at night? Yep. I can do that if you want. See how bright it is. All right, we'll tilt it back like that. We'll zoom in. So there was like a little bracket I put here and I patched. And then I attached this to the bracket. How bad did I do, mod bikes? How bad <laughs> did I do? Grade me. Did I get an F? I know I'm gonna run this through here and everything, get it a little more situated. So, how off am I? What did I do wrong, mod bikes? <laughs> what did I do? Open the cable cover, you'll see the red connector. Looks like you just need to tighten it. Oh, okay, so I'm good. I did it. I did it. Oh, I actually like these little covers. I'm gonna have to like, get some of these for. Very cool. So I just need to uh, tighten it a little bit more. Okay. I don't think I even have anything to tighten it up with, so I'll do it later. <laughs> All right. So I do have it on, right? Just not super tight. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Um, front fender will go on later because it's going to take me like way too long to get the light off and then the fender back on. 
they were that little red, my little red snippies go. Did you see those? Did you guys see where I put my red snips? <laughs> Here they are. All right. Electric uh, Ride said best death, me death metal scream has to be Russ. Wait. Russ is right? Who? Russ is right? Oh, I have to look that up. Alex Terrible is my favorite death metal scream. Look him up. Mir Khan said, Shreddy, you remember me? Yes, I do. I 100% do, bro. And your name sounds familiar too. Yeah. I think we're still friends on Instagram. Whoa. John W., who gets to ride in the sidecar during your wheelie test? Haha, <laughs> Dee Dee. Or a dog. We're going to try me. We're going to try a dog. <laughs> we'll try everything. Ooh. We're just unboxing this, and then um, I'll do like a fun little time lapse of me putting it together after I do the full review on the easy because I want to do the speed test, uh, hill climbing test, rain test. Then we'll just slap it on and kind of show you how I put it together and then do a little bit of B-roll and see what we can fit. And how it rides. With me and a dog. Looks like the cart probably goes right on top of this. So I want to say that's like the frame of it. Oh, wow. See, we got a lot of cardboard boxes to. Ooh, and it's got the green tires too. What? I didn't think I was gonna have green rims. It has the green uh, rims on there. Yes. That's awesome. You guys I are gonna love, see me eat it one day. I love the green rims. That is awesome. And it's like a smaller tire too. It's cool. Uh, yeah, check it out. That looks dope. I like that. I'll set that over here on top of this right there. All right, what else we got? Okay, so yeah, this is like that plate that goes on the side there. Yeah, Joel Paulson said those bars should be almost parallel straight across like an old timey military motorcycle. Like front all the way down? Like this? No, like straight across. Like, oh, this, tilt yeah, it down. Yeah, a little lower. Yeah, we'll let's, do that. We'll tilt it a little bit lower. For the review video. Dude, it's a, it's a total like military looking bike. I love it. Okay, so this is probably all the nuts and bolts that I need and straps and all that nonsense. So we got like a little strap. Or, look, looks like a seat belt. It's got a seat belt. Got like all your nuts and bolts. Tools. Uh, I don't even know. Little grommets. Little spacers, I'm guessing. Um, I think that's like the bar to connect it. I gotta watch the video to uh, to put this together later. But you know, all this stuff. And Joel said, "I'm putting my dog in that sidecar, cruising the beach." Dude, how fun would that be? We'll test it on the beach. We're gonna we're gonna see if I can fit in it right now, actually. <laughs> Let me get it out. We're going to see if I can just sit inside of it. All right. And then, I don't want to miss, lose anything then. These are like the big plates that go on the side of the bike that it actually attaches to. So, I kind of don't want to take that out. I don't want to lose things. All that together. Boom. Anything in here? Nothing. Ha! There we go. Mario said maybe a big speaker. Ha ha. Ooh. Mir Khan said your channel is my favorite. Love you, brother. Thank you so much. Ha! It's actually not too crazy heavy. Hold on. Electric ride said I love Bruh. that paint and aesthetic. Bro, you can make this a freaking cooler too. <laughs> Seriously. That would be cool. That would be really cool. All right, let me pull this up. We're gonna get inside this sidecar. There's more stuff in there too. Oh, wait a second. They gave me freaking racks. They gave me those little rack bags, D. Cool, for the bikes? Yeah, I had no idea they were in there. Awesome. No way. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so yeah, that just goes with the cart. Dude, how freaking cool is that gonna be? 
Could you put the bike sideways and then kind of next to it? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can't see the bike. Uh, Now that we got that box kind of out of the way. (sighs) Sorry, guys. Trying to get this done quickly for you. Anaconda hugs. Do a spaghetti restaurant video and (laughs) suck on a noodle like Lady in the Tramp. (laughs) (laughs) Not a bad idea. What kind of funny, funny reels can we do? So you guys can get just the bike or the bike and sidecar. And the link to Mod Bikes is in this video's description. Dude. Use code SHREDDY to save $100 off. We got more surprises. We got a rear rack bag. How does it go on? I'm sure it just clips on pretty easy. Damn, this thing is pretty nice. What? Mod Bikes, it's D-ring for the dog. Look at that. That's crazy. So I guess uh, you get all the screws. It screws in from the bottom. Goes on like that. Or can is it like inner? Does it lock in? Well, that's what it looks like. But it does have little screws. Looks like that could even be cooler too. And what's this on top? Oh, oh a little foam mount. That's cool. Oh, cool. A phone mount? Let me look in the bag, make sure it doesn't have like screws or anything I need extra. This is a really nice freaking bag. Look at this. What the heck? What? No way. Look at that. Did you see that, dude? It, it went from this to a big ass bag. Dude, hold on. It's like a backpack. This is crazy. Wow, so it holds a lot. That's great. Yeah, it turns into big side bags. What? Mod bikes. I don't know if you guys had this. And little cup holder, I think. Oh, probably nice. like a little cup, a cup there. holder. That's, um, that's really cool. And then mm-hmm. open the top. Whoa. Oh, nice. So in case it starts raining, Waterproof, boom. waterproof bag, guys. Waterproof. Look at that, dude. This thing's sick. Dig it, dig it. Yeah. I'm not sure if that screws in or it just like, like plops in, like it locks right in there. That bag's pretty Hold innovative on, this, in itself. It's getting bigger. Oh, look. It even gets bigger this way, too. What the heck? That's pretty amazing. Does it get bigger back here? Nope. Okay. That's crazy. And then how does this side bag open? Dude. That's a lot of room. Cool. I dig that. So let's just throw it on the side there. Oh, right on the side there. I guess it goes this way. We'll have it on backwards. We'll just have it like that. So boom. Look at that. You could stuff that. Dude, that's sick. Okay. And then we got uh, the fender. Why does such a big looking fender? What's going on here? You see how big this thing is? <laughs> oh, so there's only one wheel. One wheel, yeah. Oh, okay. For the sidecar. That does look like a big fender. Uh-huh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Probably to protect whatever's in the sidecar from getting hit by the rock. Maybe. <laughs> Having a hard time here, opening. Start trying to rush to open things. It's like, ah. John W. See a military OD green would be a theme with a white star and military number. Yes, that's that's what I want. A white star on there, so bad. I want it to look like all those tank insignia stuff. Joel said, I'll try to find you someday. I'll ride around every church in Lewis looking for a bunch Bro. of degenerate electric bikers. Joel, hold on. What, D, what's the name of that church? Joel, it's the church, like, if, if you're riding south on Route 1 and you just get into Lewis and there's a church on the left-hand side after you go over the, like, little bridge, it's that church. It's a big parking lot. Huge parking on lot, the left yeah. Side of route, route you can't miss one. all the bikers when Across you pass them. from Surf Bagel. Dude, that's cool looking. It's oh, like a full coverage on this wheel. 
Yes. That looks sick. I like that. Really dig it. Really dig it. Now you do need the front fender for the bike. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take off the light and all that. All right. We got this pad in there. What's that for? Is that just like, yeah, like a carpet for your feet? And then looks like I'm going to probably have to screw the seat down and everything. Cool. Yep. So get the seat screwed down. Dude, you could totally turn this into a cooler. Oh, he fit. Bro. <laughs> Dude, I, f I actually fit this thing. <laughs> I would totally I'll, ride in this. I'll just ride the bike and put you in that. This is awesome. <laughs> so it is like like a plastic. And really? <laughs> it gave me an idea though. Oh. Like if you take the seat out and uh, plug the little holes, you can fill it with ice and make this a freaking cooler sidecar. Like, come on. That would be pretty cool. I like that. And then on the back it says mod bikes, mod bikes on the front. Very cool. And it's not like super duper heavy either. Super light. Boom. You guys excited for the review on this? Uh, do you want to see Dee Dee actually try to ride this bike with the sidecar and me on the side? I, we'll do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm like 150 pounds. It's we'll only for, for 120, 120 pounds. And speed limit's supposed to be like 10 to 12 miles an hour. But you know we're going to try to push it to the limits for sure. Any questions? Uh, Bubba Shitty said, good looking beach cruiser. Thank you, Bubba. I totally agree with you. Mod Bike said, you need to remove the bungee cord before snapping it on. Yeah, let me see how it locks in, actually. Is that a bad idea? Sorry, Megatron. Megatron. Mario Madness becomes an even bigger bag. Guy Vermectin, that sweet bike just screams oh. for leather panniers. It just locked in. By itself? Yeah. Oh. Or how do you unlock it now? <laughs> oh no. Now it's locked in. Is there an unlock button? <laughs> My bike. That's good. It went on really easy. Yeah, it went on really easy. So how do you unlock it? Is there a button? Hold on, there's something here. No. Ah. Ah, okay. There's that little lever thing you pull back here. So that's cool. Awesome. I'm excited for this review. We're going to be reviewing this tomorrow. I'm going to be putting this, I'll put it together on a time lapse and then um, go out, shoot the review, come back, slap that on. I'll sit in it and see if they can ride with me in there. And then we'll fix the headlight. We'll slap the fender on. Uh, I'll straighten out the handlebars. We'll get, a, get this all situated. And then we're going to do the review. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to see what we're doing tomorrow. I'll post stuff in the stories, show you guys where we're at, what we're doing. It should be a nice, beautiful 80-degree day here at the beach. So I'm super excited to try this out. And if you guys are interested in the Mod Bikes Easy with Sidecar or without the Sidecar, check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY. Get $100 off your order. If Mod Bikes isn't for you, Check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. There's still, let's, we'll go through the chat. Um, there's still a lot a of questions. Um, let's see. What are panniers? Guy Vermeckin said the sweet bike just screams for leather panniers. Electric Ride said built in panniers. That'd be like these little side things, right? Bubba Shitty, it even came with touch up paint. Does it come with the kitchen sink? <laughs> it uh, probably does. You could probably hook it up right to the side and put little, uh, Stove on the front, cook stuff, make this a total, total house. Guy said, that shirt scratches my 1920s motorcycle itch. Dude, this is so cool how this bag just like transforms. Michael Ross, ready? Now all you need is a couple old ammo boxes to attach to the Dude, bag. like to act as a set of pannier bags. I love that idea and I, I'm actually going to hit up my dad and see if he does have any. His dad was in the military. Yep. Sergeant Major, retired Sergeant Major. Uh, Mass Mechanic, St. Jude the Apostle Church, Lewis, Delaware. St. Jude the Apostle's Church on Sunday at noon. If you guys want to join our group ride, it's going to be about, it's going to probably be 40 plus miles. So be ready with a battery, extra battery, maybe a charger. Um, so yeah, definitely be ready for, for some mileage. Because we, we like to go far and especially, you know, the nice days are kind of, Few and far between coming soon. 
Mario Madness, a big cooler probably would fit in there pretty easily. Dude, totally. Make it, it is the cooler. So much could fit, like even like you could take it to the beach. Put a chairs, okay. umbrella, blankets. Dude, picnic. yeah, one hundred percent. This could totally. Joe Hoffman, that's your shower cap, shreddy. That that orange thing. <laughs> never mind, awesome bike and sidecar. Oh, never mind, Shredheads member said awesome never mind. bike and sidecar. Thank you, brother. And guys, stay tuned. We do have a video coming out this Saturday at 10 a.m. Super early. I'll be in the live chat. So make sure you guys join. We got the EDC Bottle J. And um, how do they become a Shredded member? Check out that link down below. Uh, it's uh, youtube.com forward slash Shredded Mixcate forward slash join. It's like five bucks a month. Sometimes I put out videos early for the Shredhead members. Uh, you get a little Shredhead logo next to your name. And I actually, I forgot to tell you guys, I actually give you guys all a shout out if you're a Shredhead member at the end of the video. I do like a little little credit scrolling and yeah, at the end of give video. you guys a little shout out. Uh, usually I always do like a wheelie or riding through some kind of grass or do something something silly for you guys. And remember guys, um, check out the Shreddy McScape merch in the video's description like um, with Shreddy's logo and... Those like black shirts, like his orange logo. It's cool for Halloween. That's awesome, dude. Or they surprised me with this bag. I didn't, I didn't know they were going to send that. That's really cool. Dude, the color is awesome, guys. Rate this 1 to 10, guys. Give, give me some numbers. Any questions? Any more questions? All right, so we got a video coming out this weekend, Saturday, 10 a.m. Hopefully, you guys can join. Live stream maybe Sunday or Tuesday. I have the Super 73 855 controller. We're gonna upgrade that. I also have to make sure, after I stick the controller in there, I have to update the controller. Um, and then I don't know if I wanna go 52 volt or keep it at 48 volts. Then what else we got? We're gonna shoot this review tomorrow. Wicked Thumb. We got a, uh, another sidecar uh, from Wicked Thumb. So we're actually gonna, we'll, we'll kind of compare to see what they, they look like. Maybe we can do a dual sidecar e -bike. Imagine that, guys. Have dual sidecar. That would be crazy. Have you guys ever seen that, a dual sidecar? Um, this is cool. Uh, John W. said, hit that like button, y'all. Um, Toe Boy looks dope. Russell's on her. Winter is coming. Fend her up. Fend her up. You're right. You're right. You might need to stud some fat tires. I got to take the headlight off. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll put the fenders off after the stream and... What else did I do mess up on? Uh, the headlight, I'll tighten that up and get it all, all situated. Yeah, I'm excited for this review. Yeah, it's this awesome is going to be bike, fun. You guys. You should yeah. see it in person. It's really... It's beautiful, dude. Yeah. It's beautiful. We've, we've definitely uh, been hearing about my bikes for a while, and I've definitely been interested in, in shooting a review for these guys and testing out their bikes and seeing what it's all about. And I think a, a bike like this is perfect for this area, too, you know, being in a, in a beach town, like... I feel like this is going to turn heads, especially when we slap that sidecar on there. People are just going to be like, what the heck? I wonder if we're going to get Karens mad at us on the bike trails having a sidecar. And they're like, oh, my God, it's like the size of a car or something crazy. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, how people are sometimes. But we'll see. We'll see, guys. Um, so we're going to end it there. Any more questions, guys? Thanks for sticking along uh, to the end of the the stream here for everybody that stuck along. If you guys enjoyed the content, definitely don't forget to drop a like. Um, and um, as always, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the link down below for the Mod Bikes Easy with Sidecar or without. Use Coach Shreddy to get $100 off your order. If Mod Bikes isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any questions? And as always, if you guys enjoy that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Say bye-bye, DD. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. We love you guys. We'll see you guys soon, and hope to see you guys on a group ride. And we got some trips coming up.